guys, time for another update. And look, look, we're not in a car today. Isn't that great? And I'm also not in running attire because I'm not going running yet. I thought today I would go over some of the things that make my running possible. Ignore the psychopathic children in the background. <laughs> they are balls of energy, but they should be contained for the moment. So I thought I would introduce you to my shoes, um, the items that I wear when I go running, <laughs> and um, the supplements. I guess they're kind of like supplements. I need to clean my shoes, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to sit down, do that, show you all this, and you know, talk like the mindless chatterbox woman that I am. As far as my clothes go, it's not really anything exciting. Sometimes I just use a t-shirt um, that I have on hand. It depends on what I have clean. Sometimes I run in sweats. Well, not really sweats, but you know, like comfortable, relaxed uh, pants. Uh, my favorite thing to run in, I have two pairs of these pants in different colors. They're just, that's probably backwards. <laughs> just these. They're just running pants. Um, I got these from Kohl's forever ago. Gosh, probably like 2014 or something. Uh, it was before we moved up here to Minnesota. We were still living in our old house in Missouri. And I was trying really hard. Anyway, I was trying really hard to start running then. Um, and I bought these because they contained all the jiggle. <laughs> it kept it to a minimum. And they still do. Um, I am actually starting to grow out of them, which is awesome. Um, there's really nothing special about them. Uh, they do have this little tiny little pocket here that like if I go out um, outside to run when it's nice enough, I can just stick like a key in here or something. They're by the brand Dry Tech. I think, I think that's what it was called. It's the same brand that the rest of my shirt and stuff are, but um, yeah, that's what they are. Nothing special. Next up are my shirts. This one, I mean, it's they're all by Dry Tech, like I said. Um, or Tech Gear or whatever. It's whatever the Kohl's brand is. <laughs> I think they're really comfortable. This is just like a V-neck with sleeves. I have a bunch of these. Um, this one is a 1X. I have a 2X, which... I really don't wear anymore because it, it's really big on me now. Um, this is a 1X. I actually have um, just extra larges now, like the regular size extra larges, and those are fitting better and better every day, and it's so exciting. They are super duper lightweight material. All of these shirts are. Doesn't make you feel all nasty and stuff like a t-shirt would. Um, and then next up, I have two kinds of... Um, tank top type things. This is a uh, racer back. I really don't care what my tank tops look like, but this is what was on sale when I was there. I, it's kind of cool though, because it's got like this little see-through <laughs> strip on the back. I don't wear these as much during the winter because, you know, it's like negative degrees outside. And then the last one that I wear is just like a regular old tank top. <laughs> Nothing special about this. This has some mesh like in the sides. This is an older version. Um, I bought this as well back when I was living in um, Missouri. I bought it at the same time as this pants but I couldn't fit into these then. So they never, I have two of these and they never got any use but they fit now. Woo. <laughs> Next up are my socks which are not anything special. They're just, I think they're Champion brand. Yeah. Uh, well, I shouldn't say they're not anything special. Um, I don't remember exactly what the material is that these are made out of, but they claim that they are, this might be backwards since I'm filming, but it says double dry. <laughs> they help keep my feet not crazy moist from all the sweating from running, <laughs> which is super helpful because you don't want blisters. You just don't want them mm -mm. before I show you. I try to keep these 
like super duper clean and comfortable because I call them my unicorn shoes. Um, they are freaking fabulous <laughs> and I am obsessed with them. I had a pair of just, I think they were like 35 or $40 Fila's that I got from a department store somewhere that I was using. And um, fun story, my trainer asked one day what kind of shoes I was wearing, probably, you know, a couple of weeks after I had started running. And I showed them to him and he about lost his damn mind <laughs> telling me that that was unacceptable and I had to have running shoes. And my birthday was coming up, so he sent me out of the kindness of his heart a gift card for his favorite brand of shoe. And between that and some of my own personal money, I ended up buying the most expensive shoes that I have ever personally bought for myself in my life. And they are 100% worth it. So this is the, if you can't see, A6 brand. I know a lot of people know them from their, their side design. They all have this little design on it. Um, this one, I forget what it's called. I can't remember them all. The Gel Kayano 24 Women's. It's not a walking shoe, it's a running shoe. It's not a basic running shoe. I believe I paid 170 for these bad boys. <laughs> and they were worth every penny. Um, they're freaking beautiful, aren't they? Like, look at that. The lighting isn't doing them justice, but it literally looks like a rainbow. When I was picking them out, I went to the store and I was talking to the ladies there and they had me do a walking test to check and see how my feet, I guess, where I put the weight on my feet. I forget what they called it. You'd have to go talk to them. I don't know anything about feet, but they knew what they were talking about. They suggested these because of the level of support. Like, look at this. This is hard plastic. It's got gel in it. They call it, they, there's so many words on this shoe. Let's see, light foam. Ignore that one of my nails is broken. And it tells you what kind of shoe it is. And then, you know, more words, just in case you needed to read your shoes. <laughs> it was kind of weird to switch to these initially because they're much heavier than the ones that I had. And, you know, they, they support you in different ways that you don't realize you're missing. I put on my old um, workout shoes the other day. I wasn't going for a run. I was just going to the gym to work out and I put them on because I don't want to get these ruined. Like they're super expensive and if I'm not gonna run, I'm just gonna wear my old shoes. The difference in my foot was just insane. <laughs> it didn't feel right to have my other ones on. Yeah, I've had these since November and they have made all the difference in my running. My, my trainer was not kidding. <laughs> I can highly, highly, highly recommend these and I loved the people in the store. They were so sweet. There's two girls um, at Mall of America here in Minneapolis. And you know, being a heavier person walking in looking to buy expensive running shoes, you know, most places would kind of just be like, oh, I'm gonna milk this person for all they're worth. And uh, you know, it, I don't know. They just had this thing about them where they were excited about helping me find what I was looking for. They were excited that you know, they asked me my story and I explained everything to them and um, how far I had come in, you know, less than a month. And it was, they were just genuinely excited, kind people who were passionate about their product and it, it just sold me on it. And lastly, um, this isn't something that I wear, but like I said, it was one of the energy gel things that I'm talking about. This little bad boy here. I had my other flavor, I have this one and a chocolate flavor. The chocolate flavor is, oh my God, it's to die for. It literally tastes exactly like if you were making a chocolate cake and you, you know, got a spoonful of batter and just ate that, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> I haven't tried any of like the fruity flavors. I've only tried like the more indulgent flavors and caramel macchiato and um, the chocolate one were my favorites. Eventually I'll, venture into the other flavors, but 
the one that my trainer uses is GU and it says Roctane on the side. It's got, it's loaded with amino acids basically. Um, I have this one that has 40, what, milligrams of caffeine in it as well. And then my chocolate one has 20 milligrams. I try to not rely on caffeine, but um, you know, I'm a mom, I'm tired. <laughs> And sometimes by the time I'm able to go running, um, it's, I just don't have the energy. So these are really good for that. The Roctanes have way more amino acids in them. They're 100 calories per pack. You just, you're supposed to take it five minutes before your actual um, regimen, running, working out, whatever, whatever you're doing, you're supposed to take them. And then every 45 minutes, you're supposed to have one. That's all I got for you today. Um, I'm gonna finish cleaning my shoes now and probably feed my kids lunch because that's what good mothers do. <laughs> yeah, until next time guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, I can't promise that I can answer them all for you because I still don't know what the hell I'm talking about 90% of the time, but I am happy to try. <laughs> thanks for watching guys, bye.